How's it going guys? Uh, today's video is on this uh, looks like an MTD uh, Yard works here pretty much I think uh, yard works is MTD um, Push mower I just picked this one up yesterday for free I think it was as you can see it's missing a a uh, side discharge chute or a mulch plug uh, mulch door but uh, I mean other than that it looks fairly complete it's got a Tecumseh engine on it and uh, there is a little bit of oil and so enough for us to just do the testing and uh, we'll start uh, and there's probably no fuel I would think nope no fuel but lots of dirt and debris so I'm just going to take you through my um, process to try and figure out and assess whether or not these mowers are worthy of uh, our revival project or not. So uh, stay tuned guys. Alright, my first process is always to see if, uh, if we have a carb issue and the way I do that is I spray some uh, fuel or starter fluid right into the carburetor. And if it runs and dies, um, then I know at least it has spark and it has compression. And maybe the timing is correct. It will run if the timing's out of whack a little bit, but um, if it's out of whack a lot, that would usually be indicated by a pull handle uh, that is actually uh, snapping back in your hands when you go to start it. So I'm going to start with some starter fluid in there and uh, give it a couple pulls and see what we get. All right, so I only needed the one pull and uh, so what I'm going to do is um, I think I have a clean tank so I am going to try and maybe swap out the tank put some fresh fuel into a clean tank and uh, then I'm gonna work my way from there. Actually probably easier if I took the tank off. Yeah, it's a whole lot easier. spare tank right here this fuel line doesn't look like it's in great shape but if she's a survivor I can always fix that it doesn't cost that much for a new fuel line Alright, so I'm going to put some gas in it and then see if it will run for a little while. If it does, then that means the carburetor is actually in fairly clean shape. But if it starts and dies like it's done the last time, then that's pretty much an indication that that carb's got to come off and get cleaned. Now, most likely I will take that off anyways. And you can see the primer bulb split, so that would need to be replaced. Um... So yeah, I would uh, any of my lawnmowers that I take in and service and then try to get them back out on the market, uh, I always do a carb clean uh, so that the next owner doesn't have any issues. So uh, I'm going to put some fuel in it and see if we can get it to run a little longer than a couple puffs. Alright, so something before I actually pull the handle I wanted you guys to see. Uh, it's hard to tell. <laughs> But look at that blade. <laughs> She's curled over. So they obviously hit something. And the other side looks okay. So just with this side, probably had a sudden stoppage. So uh, maybe flywheel key issue on this guy. We'll have to see. So uh, I'll just put you down over here. I put some gas in it. And uh, I'm going to try and use this primer bulb.
Not sure if it's getting any fuel in there or not. All right. Well, she does run. She shook like a sieve. Uh, and um, I didn't want her to shake herself apart. So I stopped it pretty quick. So that's promising. A new replacement blade would be in order for this guy. And um, definitely a new spark plug and a carb clean. And uh, I've got videos on how to, a video on how to change out this, uh, or sorry, clean up this uh, Tecumseh carburetor. So for that, you can go to the top right corner for the link to that. Spark plug is pretty simple. Uh, if you have the proper spark plug socket, anyone can change that. I will change the oil on this thing. Oil guard the deck, and then see if I can uh, come up with something for a guard for here. Uh, because obviously can't sell it the way it is. All right guys if I do get this guy up and running I will post a uh, Video of it running guys So until then thanks for joining me and take care Just a Quick update guys for you there um, I've taken off the bracket for this uh, side uh, mulch uh, plug or door and there it is on the ground there and what I think I'm going to do since I don't have another sort of one that fits on there is I'm just going to attach this guy and make it a side discharge so um, that should be uh, fairly easy to do there is one hole that I'll use right there and then I'll just drill myself another one right there and then I've got some uh, hardware to put that on so that should uh, fix my side mulch plug issue. Turn this mulcher into a side discharge mower.